Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your seasonal love reading with me. This is Brooke and welcome back to Night for Tarot. Thank you for joining me. This reading is for Sagittarius. Please watch for your sun, moon, rising in this video. I'm going to be doing a seasonal love reading which will take a predictive outlook for February, March, April. I've been doing them privately for years, but I've never debuted the reading itself on YouTube. So I wanted to bring about a three month outlook. We're going to also take a look at the energies from 2017 for Sagittarius as well. So thank you for joining me. Let's get started. And one thing I do want to mention is in these general readings, if they are not speaking to you, always make sure if you know to watch for your, not only your sun sign, but your rising sign and your moon sign. Uh, if you don't know what those are, you need to have, of course, your birth date and the time that you were born. And there are many free websites that you can calculate to find those out. So many times my rising sign will speak to me more in general readings that I watch more than my sun sign will. So of course, I'm sure a lot of you already know this, <laughs> but I wanted to throw it out there. So we come in from 2017 with the four of pentacles energy. And the Four of Pentacles energy is very much about trying to gain or keep control over a situation. There was a lot of control, especially with money in 2017, control of possessions, control of property. Okay, this is Sagittarius yourself. This could have been somewhat another person. This also could be holding on too tightly to a situation, holding on too tightly to possessions. So there's this element of needing control in 2017. Very much could be connected to money or property, but also very possessive in its traits as well. Then what's interesting is we come in with temperance, which is the archetype for Sagittarius. So temperance comes in very much signifying to Sagittarius that moderation is key, patience and diligence, especially in creating and keeping harmony for Sagittarius. This is the blending of opposites, especially with other people or in relationships. So this year for Sagittarius may be very much about keeping the peace in any given situation. If you are single or if you're coupled or if you're divorced or you're separated, there's a great need for moderation and blending to create bliss, okay, to create balance and cooperation in any given situation especially when we see the temperance card come in. The challenge for Sagittarius, especially going into the next three months, is dealing with the energies of the devil. So devil's archetypes, Capricorn, you could be dealing with Capricorn energy. And the devil card is very much about anything that is low vibrational energy. This can be very connected to verbal, mental, emotional potentials for physical abuse and relationships, addictions of any kind. This can be any kind of anxiety, depression. But this card can also signify lust in a relationship. Very much about lust, very much about sex, very much about the relationship is based more on sex. This can also be tied to narcissistic type personalities. So there's a challenge for Sagittarius this year of dealing with that type of energy or meeting those types of people. You know, empaths, empathic people, very much, or healers, very much attract narcissistic type energies. And it's the type of situation that I have 
personally, my own experience, and other people that I've met who are very empathic or sensitive people very much attract those types of relationships. So that can be a challenge for Sagittarius this year, or if you're an exist, or if you're in a existing relationship, okay, and you're trying to create harmony and balance, you will not create it with a narcissist. That is for sure. It's one day to the next, very unpredictable, but predictable in its own right. So that's the challenge for Sagittarius. The advice coming up for you, many of you may be moving away from this because there's a great need for harmony and balance. We come in with the Six of Swords energy. So this is very much about moving away from difficulties, moving on. The damage has been done, and it's a healing period for Sagittarius for many. This also could be literally traveling, traveling across an actual body of water, okay? So there's a need for, they're telling me, resilience this year of moving past past hurts or moving past damaging moments in relationships. Even this could be therapy for many as well, okay? So the Six of Swords energy is taking Sagittarius into a more healing direction. That's going to be very beneficial because there's a great need to get away from this possessiveness style relationship or attracting this possessive style relationship because you're in the dead center of that and you're very much wanting healing time, peace, harmony. You're very much wanting that for 2018. So let's take a look at the next three months, February, March, April, at the potential energies for Sagittarius. Coming out of February, or going into the month of February, I should say, we come in with the Ten of Swords energy. So the Ten of Swords energy can very much be about any kind of finality of some kind. I'm going to put this candle here so you can look at the card. So any type of finality. This can also be a completion period for Sagittarius. A finality of some kind, a breakup, a betrayal, Okay, a disappointment, a great disappointment. This also could be a real painful moment for in February for Sagittarius in the conclusion of something. Okay, there's a great finality for Sagittarius. And there also could be an indicator that you are now ready perhaps to go forward and leaving something completely behind. So if you've had the last year or the last two year period, Sagittarius, of having to perhaps close a chapter of your life, this could be the indicator for that. There also could be potentials for any kind of disappointment for Sagittarius coming up in February. But the message is with the number 10 card is there is a completion period. Okay. And there's one where... The pain may be felt or the pain may come, may come up again. So let's say for Sagittarius, if you are coupled and things are going along very smoothly and then you come up against what I like to term the beast, <laughs> you come up against the beast and you're having the same issues again or the same problems with the same person and you forget that, oh, this is really who this person is, okay? This may be the marked point for Sagittarius to realize this or to endure that kind of pain again, to keep repeating the same type of pain, to keep repeating the same type of emotional pain or being very much attached to that pain, Addicted to that pain, addicted to that emotional roller coaster in a relationship. That can be very addicting and also being very much addicted to a particular style of relationship or a particular type of person. Okay, so that's the potential for February. And March comes in. And March comes in, we have the Two of Pentacles energy. So 
The Two of Pentacles energy is very much speaking about balance and moderation, but balance. Something's imbalanced. This imbalance will continue to play its part, okay, if Sagittarius does not understand the dynamics of the situation you're in or to understand the dynamics of the person in the situation. Even if you're single and you feel that you keep attracting certain types of people, okay, that can be brought up for you as well. So there's a, there's a lot of things going on for you in March. Very busy time. And there also could be an indicator of more than one person coming into your life. And I'm not speaking of love triangles. I don't like to uh, go towards that in general readings. But there's an imbalance of some kind. There's also a lot of, there's a juggling factor coming in for Sagittarius as well. If you're new to the dating scene, for instance, this could be dating more than one person. Okay. So that type of energy coming in for Sagittarius in March. I'm going to clarify I'm going to clarify that card that's a bit too vague for me don't you think so let's clarify the two of Pentacles for Sagittarius what's going on with the two of Pentacles for Sagittarius I'm shuffling Let's see what the indicator is for. So the three of swords comes up. So there could be a breakup. There could be also the breakup of another person that's affecting you. Or this could be an actual indicator for Sagittarius that you're dating two people. You're going to break up with one and make a decision. So as a general reading... This is very much about something that's short term. The three of swords comes in. It's not long lasting. It's short term. So if something is on its way out for you, very much by the six of swords energy. <coughs> Excuse me. If it's on its way out for you, try not to linger with it, okay? Because lingering with it or perhaps wanting to revisit it is going to bring pain. It's going to possibly bring pain up again for Sagittarius in March. I had to take a drink of my coffee. So try not to revisit that because it's very much going to bring about pain because in the next month we see the Knight of Rods energy. So something is very much telling Sagittarius, it's time to move forward. Quit going back and revisiting this. Quit second guessing. Quit getting opinions of others. Because deep down inside, you know what's going to follow, perhaps. And the Knight of Rods energy is very much about moving forward, direction. This could be very much something about relocation for Sagittarius, moving out of a situation as well moving forward okay it has a lot of potential with the knight of rods or wands energy of a new direction so sagittarius in the month of march maybe even before this for many as well there is an ability to now move forward okay to move on and to move forward for Sagittarius in March and that's a great that's a great validator and they're telling me blessing there's some sort of blessing that's accompanied with this to help Sagittarius move forward as well I'm going to clarify again with the Knight of Rods this also could be dealing with younger fire sign energy so if you want to speak about a person and we have the 10 of Pentacles. So you might be moving out with your children. 
You might be moving back home with your parents. You might have the financial capabilities to move out of a situation if you haven't been able to leave because of money. Okay, so there's something very much connected to family or you could be moving closer to family or there could be a new direction with family, but something very much connected with money for Sagittarius as well. The potential outcome in the next three months, we have the 10 of cups. So two tens in the reading. I'm very much a reader about prominence of numbers and pay attention to the numbers. Very much about completion for Sagittarius. Completion, because the next three months are crucial for you to make progress and move forward out of a situation or towards a situation. The Ten of Cups is a card of joy, contentment, happiness. Okay, so there's a great ability for Sagittarius to achieve this. This also is a card of potential for marriage. It's a card of harmony. And there's something that is, it almost feels like Sagittarius is on a, uh, what are those things called in the airport that you don't have to walk, but you could just step on it and just, if anybody knows, I'm having a moment where I can't think, uh, where you're, like it's a conveyor belt, but it's not, but you stand on it. And it's, and you know, people are, can, people are walking by you, but you're standing on it with your luggage. That's how it feels for me. Like something is just taking Sagittarius towards a new beginning and towards something that's much more centered and harmonious. And more, it's going to really bring about much more peace and harmony and healing for you in the next three months. So that's a good outcome for you, Sagittarius. So Sagittarius, good luck to you. I hope this reading was helpful. Please subscribe. Check out my website below. Have a blessed three months, Sagittarius. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.